50,000 sources of infrared light are staring back at us in this incredible new deep field image from JWST. This image shows three enormous clusters of galaxies coming together to form a mega cluster known as Pandora's Cluster, or Able 2744 if you want the less interesting name. And we're getting never before seen details thanks to JWST's incredible light collecting power. There are thousands of galaxies, a couple of Milky Way stars, and some gorgeous gravitational lensing to see here. So let's dive in and see what the universe has to offer. Galaxies are groups of billions of stars. Galaxy clusters can contain hundreds or thousands of galaxies bound together by gravity. And so you can imagine that this cluster of clusters is incredibly massive. Thanks to Einstein's general relativity, this means that Pandora's cluster warps space and time by a huge amount and acts as a magnifying glass to help us see incredibly faint and distant galaxies behind the mega cluster. While it does help us see distant objects that we wouldn't be able to see without the effects of the cluster, this gravitational lensing can also cause the shapes of the distant galaxies to become warped and distorted. And this results in some fascinating shapes being seen in images like this. If you want an explainer on gravitational lensing or general relativity in general, then I recently released a video talking all about it in a really simple way that doesn't use any maths or equations at all. So check that out if you're interested. Looking at this new image of Pandora, the bright white regions surrounded by a hazy glow are the galaxies that make up the clusters, pouring light all over the rest of the image. But the couple of bright objects featuring the six bright spikes are actually foreground stars that are in our own galaxy and just getting in the way of this image. While these single stars might be a few dozen or more light years from Earth, that's nothing compared to the four billion or so light years that Pandora's cluster is from us. And the smaller background galaxies are even more distant, possibly up to 10, 11, or even 12 billion years in the case of the most distant ones. There are also a few galaxies in the image that are closer than the mega cluster, and these will be the ones that are best resolved. For example, in this older Hubble image, the blue colored galaxies are in Pandora's cluster, and anything not shrouded in blue is either a foreground or a background galaxy. On the subject of Hubble, it's only ever imaged the very core of Pandora's cluster, and so the much wider view that JWST has stitched together here from four snapshots from its 8 meter mirror contains so many new details that we've never seen before. Each of those four exposures from JWST was between four and six hours, so the total exposing time to make this image was approximately 30 hours. In this comparison, we can see the resolution and seeing power of JWST compared to the older Hubble image of the same patch of sky. To illustrate this even more, we can pick a couple of objects, maybe this cool looking ring galaxy and the nearby well-resolved spiral. And if we make them the same size on screen, we can really see the differences between the two telescopes. Since this is a JWST deep field, it's also natural to want to compare it to the famous Hubble deep fields too. While bearing in mind that these are looking at different patches of sky, we can still compare them and see the resolution and brightness improvements from JWST. And we also know there's so much more to come from JWST as it continues to take longer and longer exposures of the deep universe. Let's now take a look deep into this image and point out a few interesting objects. This is, of course, just a few of the most obvious beautiful things that I found in the image. So if you see other things that you think are especially cool or worth talking about, please do let me know what you find in the comments below. Let's start with some of the most well-resolved galaxies I can find in the image. I might be biased, but many of my picks here will be spiral galaxies, because seeing all of that structure is so stunning to me. There's this big obvious spiral near to the brightest foreground star in the image, which is beautifully resolved. In this shot, there's a nicely squished looking spiral, a ringed-ish galaxy to the side, and this gorgeous pink colored galaxy too, which I believe is much more distant, but I just love the color. Above this area in the image is an interesting looking spiral that seems to have a lot of gaseous outflows or something going on to make it look like a firecracker galaxy. And it has such a bright core that it's making diffraction spikes, meaning there's likely an incredibly active black hole in the center, eating up hot matter that's glowing very brightly. Nearby, there's also a nice cigar-like galaxy and another galaxy with some nice outflows too. 
Here is a gorgeous example of the gravitational lensing caused by this enormous cluster. And we can see that this spiral looks very warped and distorted. It's likely a regular spiral shape in reality, but the warped space-time between us and it makes it look much more Dali-like than it really is. And I think that's pretty cool. Near all of the bright white clusters, we see similar examples of lensing distorting the shapes of the galaxies, and lots of them look really stretched out, arc-like, or downright strange. As well as warping, gravitational lensing also magnifies distant objects, meaning that we can see fainter and more distant things than even JWST would see without the lens. This means that lots of the lensed galaxies look quite red in the image. Remember that JWST sees infrared light, so all of this is invisible to our eyes, but the teams involved shift the light into the visible range so that we can actually see the images, and they keep the colours appropriate. This means that red objects do generally represent more distant objects, as we expect their light to be stretched out to longer or redder wavelengths, thanks to the expansion of the universe. I talk about this more in this video up here, if you're interested in more about that idea. This new deep field image was taken by a team who are appropriately called the Uncover Team and was taken using JWST's NERCAM instrument, which is basically just a near infrared camera. The next task is to select some of the most interesting objects here for follow up data to be taken on them using the spectrograph NERSPEC. And this will allow the team to learn a lot more about some of the most intriguing things they can see in this image, including the precise distance to the objects and the chemical composition of them too. The team expects these follow up observations to be taken in the summer of 2023, so we don't have to wait long to learn more about this fascinating patch of space. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this deep field image in the comments below. And remember to let me know the coolest thing you can spot in the image. Whoa, actually, before you go, we just got another very similar image that I want to show you very quickly. This is another galaxy cluster. It's called RX J2129, and it's about 3.2 billion light years away. It also features some epic gravitational lensing, and the most exciting part of it is that we can see one of the galaxies three times in the image. It's being triply lensed, and the galaxy cluster between us and it is warping space-time so much that the light from this galaxy is taking a bunch of different paths, meaning that we're seeing it three times on the sky. It's the same galaxy, we're just seeing it more than once. The length of each of these paths of the light is slightly different, so there's actually a slight time delay between each image. So that's one reason we can see small differences in the galaxy, but each one is also being distorted slightly differently by the lens. To make this even better, there's also a supernova. That's an exploding star dying with a bang, visible in the galaxy. So this is really a great image captured by JWST, and I just wanted to touch on it here before I go. Now, back to your regularly scheduled outro. Be sure to subscribe for more JWST videos and loads of space related contents. And thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe, team. I'll see you soon. Bye.